Hello again, Paul Watts here, High Flying Physics supporting students wanting to get top grades at A level physics. Um, this is another classic question involving Newton's laws of motion uh, with reference to the forces in a lift. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've seen a question similar to this in, in exam papers, and um, sometimes students find it a little bit tricky. Let's see if we can uh, iron out some of the issues. So here's the question. An object of mass m rests on the floor of a lift which is ascending with an acceleration a. a. Draw a diagram to show the external forces acting on the object. Explain how these forces arise. Derive an expression for these forces and show graphically how their magnitudes vary with the acceleration of the lift. So uh, the object has got a mass, it's in the gravitational field, so clearly we've got a weight. And the only other force acting, as I'm sure you know, is uh, the normal reaction force between the, the floor and, and the mass of the object. And, and clearly, without the reaction force, the, uh, the mass will just accelerate through, through the floor of the lift and accelerate downwards. So part B, explain how these forces arise. A typically vague question. Uh, which examiners are sometimes known for. So weight arises from the force due to gravity acting on the mass. I think that's fairly obvious. And the second one is the normal reaction force R is the contact force from the lift floor on the mass. Part C, derive an expression for these forces. The starting point is take the condition where the lift is not accelerating or is stationary. So in other words, it's got a constant velocity. In that situation, we know the weight is going to equal the, the reaction force. So we can say R is equal to W. But we have got a situation where the lift is accelerating upwards. So the reaction force is doing two jobs. It's first of all, it's overcoming the, uh, the weight and also it's having to supply the vertical acceleration, the F is equal to MA force. So we can summarize that in an equation, R is equal to W plus MA. Part D, show graphically how their magnitudes vary with acceleration of the lift. Well, there's only one force which is, uh, which is varying and that's the reaction force. The weight is fixed. So if we plot our, um, our axes, reaction force on the y-axis, acceleration on the x-axis, the first point that we can make on our axis is the condition when acceleration is zero. And we've already said that when acceleration is zero, the reaction force is going to equal the weight. We can mark that on the axis there and label it W. We then know as the lift starts accelerating upwards, uh, clearly, the reaction force is going to be going upwards as well to provide that acceleration. Uh, so we can draw our line on like that. The equation of motion for that graph, we can uh, reorganize the formula that we use for part C and we can get it into a form. So it's in the same format as our straight line equation, y is equal to mx plus c. So you can see on the y-axis, that's the reaction force. On the, the x-axis, there's our acceleration. And then the y-intercept, C, uh, that is, that's where our, our weight is, as you, as you can see. And therefore, the, the gradient of our line is going to be the mass, M. I hope you found that useful, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.